Hi everybody, welcome to Gigi, ahead of what is the final Thursday night of the carnival. As usual, I'll try and give you a few winners and we'll start with the official feature, which is the Group 3 Nadal Sheba Trophy, a prep for the Dubai Gold Cup on World Cup night. And Godolphin have got a good record in this race, including Charlie Appleby, who's won the last two and his secret advisor can go well here. I'm sure he won a handicap over course and distance last time. Only carried 53 kilos though. And the second on that occasion, Dubai Horizon has been well beaten since. So I'm going to take him on with a lightly raised sort called Spanish Mission, who is a Group 3 winner in the UK. He then went over to America, won the Belmont Derby. I haven't seen him since that race, which was in September, but David Simcock, who has had a fantastic carnival, did say that Dubai World Cup night, probably the Shima Classic, will be his main aim. So although this is his prep, I think he'll go quite close, particularly because he's getting a couple of kilos off his rivals. We've also got the listed curl in handicap, which is a prep for the Dubai World Cup itself. It looks a weak addition. I think it can go to Red Cactus, who absolutely flew home last time on the turf. He's probably a better horse on the dirt, and he yet should um, get the strong pace he needs to come from the back of the field. A wide draw is not too much of a problem for him. And he's only rated 101. If they really do want to run in the Dubai World Cup, they'll need to pretty much win this to get the invitation to the big night. We also have the listed Maidan Classic, that's for the three-year-olds. I don't think this is really a standout horse in this, so I'm hoping the visor first time can work on our Mukhtar star here for Fauzi Nass. He was a non stayer I thought, last time over 1,900 metres. Prior to that, he did win a Maiden over this course and distance, so he's my pick there. We've got two divisions of a 10 furlong turf handicap, and Star Safari for Charlie Appleby will be all the rage in the first division. He's two from three. This is his first run since being gelded. He's got all the profile of a golfing horse who does well at the carnival. But perhaps that will take him on here with Franz Kafka, who was so impressive in a domestic handicap a couple of starts ago. Then they tried him on the dirt. That didn't work out, but they've given him enough time to get over that. He looks very progressive, so he's the one for me. Nice lightweight of just 53 and a half kilos. I think he's a lovely spare ride for Richie Mullen to have picked up there for Simon Crisford. The second division of this handicap is race number seven. And although American Graffiti won la well last time uh, beating the Jabba Ramadan uh, trained GM Hopkins, I'm going to take GM Hopkins, who's better off at the weights, to reverse the form. It was a good effort from him. He's a horse who comes on with his runs. And Jabba's horses weren't quite right, perhaps, in the first up part of the season. They're running a lot better now, so uh, I'll go for him for a mild upset in that. Then we have a mild dirt contest. Again, it looks pretty open. It's not the strongest race by all means. Behavioural bias was a good second behind very classy Midnight Sands last time. Stepping up in trip shouldn't be a problem for him. But perhaps fight on the top weight can cause a bit of a surprise. He goes for Doug O'Neill, who's also had a really good carnival. And this fellow is better on at the weights with Plata Oplomo, who beat him last time. So that is the dirt handicap. And then everything wraps up with a 1400 metre turf event. This looks perhaps the most competitive race of the day, that's why it's last, but I can't get away from on the warpath here. He's a horse who's taken his time really to show his best for Charlie Appleby, but last year he looked a sprinter going somewhere. He is 12 pounds higher than when he ran this race, won this race 12 months ago, um, but I firmly believe this is his prep for the Alquaz sprint. He does look uh, a horse that uh, certainly has still got more to give, so despite the big weight, I'm going to go for him in the finale. Good luck, let's hope we found you a few winners.